Hello, this is Václav and in this video I want to walk you through uh, some patch tips. You can find patch tips at the end of the softpop manual, but in this video I'm gonna like combine everything that's written there and build a bigger patch. So yeah, let's get to it. So uh, I think the very first patch you should learn is patching the triangle output into the external input. So right now uh, the softpop is using the pools as an input for the filter, but patching it like this will bring in the fundamental of the oscillator and will bring in a lot more bass. So if you if you want to do bass heavy music, do this. You can also overdrive the filter. It's gonna also change the way how the oscillator interacts with the resonance of the filter. So if it's very resonant, bringing in the triangle more will overpower the resonance. And you get these like really beefy, very like thick bass sounds. So Going from there, let's uh, make something a bit fun. So I am going to patch the envelope into the oscillator modulation input. So now this fader, when I bring it in and trigger the envelope, is going to trigger a nice little arpeggio. So the envelope is now modulating the pitch of the oscillator before it goes into the quantizer. Can change the shape of the envelope, make it slower, modulate it less. And uh, now if I patch the edge output, which is um, sort of a square with output from the envelope, but patch it into the reset input. With every reset impulse, it's gonna forward the chains. So if I have a skill chain defined, which I do at the moment, it's gonna play a different chord with every run of um, this arpeggio. So this way you can like, I really like to use this patch when like I'm in a jam session with people, so you can just bring some of that fun into the, into the game. So uh, I'm gonna undo this patch and I'm gonna start to work with the sequencer a little more. So I would like to show you how to use the gate outputs. So let's, uh, let's use the slide gate output and patch it into the filter cutoff. So I don't have any slides defined right now, so let's put um, them on step 3 and step 7. So you you now hear it gives, gives it like very specific accent, it basically it opens the filter on, on these steps, so you can use it for a bit more rhythmical variation. It's also going to uh, make these notes slide on step 3 and 7. You can hear it a bit better if I slide two notes in a row. But you can change the slide time, so if I would slide and go up and down, I can change the slide time. So if, but if I have the slide time at 1, it's basically gonna be no slide time. So I can use the slide gate as a modulation source that I define 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 rhythmically and I can use it for these accents. 
You can also use the envelope gate to modulate things. And uh, yeah, let's let's see what we can use it for. Um, for the PVM maybe. You can use it for accents. But what you can also do is to take both of these gates and combine them in the XY section. So if I uh, use the crossfader and patch two gates, which are either like zero or five volts, and mix them together, all the different combination of states will produce different voltages. So now this is this is sort of like a stepped voltage. So let's patch it into the into the into the filter and now it modulates the filter in this like stepped way and I can can also like use the crossfade to change the balance between those gates okay so let's take the slide gate and use it to reverse the envelope so let's put more of these so now each time there is a slide gate defined the envelope is going to be reversed what you can also do is to modulate the reverse with the sample and hold. So it's gonna reverse the envelope shape sort of like randomly. And I can also still use the slide gate and use it to modulate the envelope rate. So when the slide gate is there, it's gonna be like very short envelope. So there is a lot going on, so let me undo the patch. And um, what I also really like to do, let's stop it and have a really nice drone. So if you patch the envelope into the PWM input and you cycle it and have a sort of a use it as a LFO, you can get that classic PWM sound. So right now the pulse is going into the filter and now that the envelope is modulating the pulse width, that's what the pulse PVM stands, pulse width modulation, you get this classic PVM sound. And it also really nice works nice with with the envelopes. Also, if you use the envelope to modulate the filter. Okay, and um, let's now try something more crazy. So let's. Use the band pass output from the filter and bring it to the external input and see what happens. So this basically creates alternate resonance path. So it behaves sort of similar to bringing in the resonance, but in a different way. And you can totally overdo it. It's like very screamy, very juicy resonance. So if you're if you're pursuing the ultimate crazy as it sounds, this is what you might try. Okay, um, that's kind of the basics. I think I went through a lot of the 
um, basic patch tips and combine them in one video. But again, in the manual for the soft pop, uh, you can see them one by one and I highly recommend going through them because it's gonna make the use of the soft pop um, patch bay work for you the best. So this has been Václav and have fun patching with the soft pop.